Hey guys, what's going on? Tony here, CCXRC, Renegade Rotors. We've got some things going on here with our quads. I've got this little 3D printed uh, quad that I tested out after printing it and assembling it. Worked fine. Breaks a little too easy for my flying capabilities at this point, so I've gone ahead and picked up something smaller that I wanted anyway. Uh, for two reasons. Detroit Multi-Rotors, this is their Pixel. It's the size I wanted, a little 3 inch, tiny. Uh, but it's also repping the D's, so that's pretty sweet. Ordered this up from them, and it arrived in just a few days. Uh, very simple to just kind of put the basic frame together. Now comes the hard part. I'm going to be uh, going ahead and taking this one apart and seeing what we can fit into this one uh, from here, which I'm hoping is most everything, although the motors are going to be a little bit big. Uh, this one you probably want the 1306 or 1407 size motors, and mine are the 1806. So... We may just put them on and see how it does for a little bit and then work on uh, getting some new motors for this. So well, we're going to get to that right now. Here it is, it's finished. It's the Detroit Multi-Rotors Pixel. It's a race-ready quad frame that's uh, carbon fiber. It's 150 millimeter motor to motor. It's running 3K twill carbon fiber arms, top and bottom plates, uh, 2.5 millimeter thick arms on it. It's got a two millimeter top and bottom plate and then it has a non-conductive uh, 1.6 millimeter G10 mid plate here for mounting your uh, power distribution board directly to. Uh, it also has 3D printed camera mounts here. It's also running a, a camera hood up here and a VTX mount. Now mine is very tight. I actually had the VTX facing the other way but the wire was actually getting hit by the prop so I spun it around. It's not holding on with the uh, double sided tape very well in this uh, configuration so I had to put a zip tie around it which is actually holding the receiver in here as well so that works all right that doesn't bother me i also picked up the 1406 4000 kv motors here from sunny sky uh, from detroit multi-rotor they were selling these in the store i'm running the uh, foxier hs 1177 camera i've got a foxier sp racing f3 pd or uh, flight controller it's a NAS 32 uh, power distribution board. Uh, the FPV Racing Quad Spectrum receiver in here. And the VTX is an Eosheen TS5840. And it's kind of got like manual switches on it to be able to change your uh, band. So um, I'm also running the BL Heli S Little B Spring 20 Amp ESCs. And these will run 2 or 4S LiPos. And I have. Uh, some small 860 milliamp hour uh, 4S LiPo that I'll be running underneath this because that's where you put your battery. You can see they've got a really awesome Detroit Multi-Rotor logoed strap for the bottom. Um, my uh, tail is coming out here to be able to plug in. And uh, that's pretty much the quad, guys. I'm super, super stoked to have it done and uh, really, really like what Detroit Multi-Rotor has put together here with this cute little 3-inch quad that's supposed to be stupid fast running these uh, 1406 motors on this tiny frame. So we'll get it out and flying for you, and we'll be back with that video. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Have fun RCing, and we'll catch you next time.